regardless of whatever that title is, I mean, we're preparing for the season. Um, everyone's just trying to get better out here each day, um, you know, especially after the past couple weeks. We'd like to get a win underneath our belts uh, out, up there in Green Bay. So, and that's really the biggest thing that's on my mind. Was it good to have it go ahead and be named now? <laughs> you know, again, uh, everyone wants to be a starter in this league and play on the field. So that's, you know, that's really the ultimate time where I think you're, you'd be pretty happy about uh, having a title of sorts. So, you know, look, look again, right now, I mean, it's all about trying to do everything we can to prepare for Green Bay. Competition is always tough, uh, but I think the experience that he had, you know, gave him the edge. Did, did the way Stansy played in St. Louis, did that maybe shake your confidence in him at all? Or? No, because I think that he has, he's a good young player with a lot of talent, and uh, he has a lot of upside to him. My reaction is, you know, wherever spot the coaches want me at on this team, um, it's my job to do that role to help out the rest of the team. Um, you know, we have a great quarterback room. Uh, we learn from each other. We learn from Coach Dayball. We learn from Coach Zorn. So, um, you know, that's our focus as a group is to try to, you know, do what we can to help out the rest of the team and to keep our room playing at a high level. It's kind of easy to get back into something you love. I mean, uh, you always work hard. You always try to get better every day. But when you love something, it's easy to try to get back into it. Okay, so you, you broke your leg at the start of... 09, mm -hmm. and then you missed 10 and 11. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that broken leg, was that part of the reason why you didn't play for a uh, It was part of the reason. Another part was my mom's health. Okay. Uh, uh, she had to get, she had transplant surgery, so I, uh, okay. I'm her only son, so I had to take care of her, get her right, and that, that came first at that sure. time. I mean, I, I missed it like crazy. I missed yeah. it like crazy. Yeah. I, uh, I kept working out, obviously. Yeah. I, uh, I never got out of shape. Uh, and hoping I, hoping I got another opportunity. I'm pumped up and excited. Uh, playing out, playing Thursday, so just trying to take these last days and kind of brushing up on my, my technique and getting prepared for, you know, Green Bay. As a team, what do you guys think you have to do to, sh to show improvement? Not necessarily win maybe or lose or whatever, but just to show that you're, you can get this game and be ready for the regular season. I mean, I feel like as a team, we just got to come around and take it one day at a time, uh, each and every day. Just get get better each and every day, uh, and just practice on our technique. And I think everything starts with practice. So the better practices that we have, I think it comes back into, into game day. How good was the practice today? Oh, we had a very good practice today. Even yesterday was a great practice. Uh, Rack gave us props about yesterday's practice and today's practice. So I think these last two practices have been great. It seems. Are people on edge though a little bit, knowing final cuts are Friday? Do you do you sense this? Maybe not edge, but more intensity. Um, I don't feel like that. I think everybody's on the team still, uh, just trying to focus on what they can do to make this team. Uh, I, I feel like all our guys are just trying to prepare for Green Bay and not worrying about the cuts. You know, it's in the back of guys' minds. This is the reality of the situation that we're in, and you know we have a lot of great guys and. You know, sadly, there's going to be some cuts, and it's just a, it's, it's that time of year, and, and guys are playing hard, working hard, and, and we'll see what happens. As Indiana. a guy who has experience, you know, being cut and signed and practice squad, what's it like mentally just to know it is a business, but are you, do you ever get comfortable or, or do you ever get secure in I your role? I don't think that's a, uh, I don't think comfortable is a good way to put it. I think this is a, this is one of those unique businesses where you got to bring you got to bring your lunch pail to work every day and that's that pushes guys to get better and, and the competition is always really high especially in training camp when you know you have you have three or four deep at one position and sometimes more than that and um, you know as, as far as being cut and being on practice squads I know what that's all about I've been there and uh, for the guys that do get released I, I guess I'm also proof that it's not over you know there's there's a future outside of uh, or beyond the one team that may release you or if it doesn't go the way you want it to, there's, you know, I came here and I've been here for five years after that happened to me. So you never know what's going to happen. We're all working hard. Obviously, the, the outcome of the last two games haven't been what we wanted. But again, that's why you have preseason. It's, it's because you have to go through sometimes the bumps and the bruises. But I guarantee you we'll be ready to go by the first week of the season. And these guys are all doing a great job of coming out here, getting back to work and getting ready to go. How fast has Dwayne slipped in? Because it's not just a matter of his ability. It's a new offense. Right, and you know what? He's working hard. He, I mean, he's coming in here each and every day. He's here early before everybody else even gets in the building. So he's working hard. He's doing his part. I think the coaches and everybody else that are trying to get him going are doing the same thing. So he'll be ready to go, I'm sure. And uh, again, it's not my decision whether or not he's ready, but the coaches will make that ultimate decision.
you talk about depth else? to this offense this year. It seems like you got him everywhere. Wildcat, slot. Just talk about his now, what he means to the offense. Well, I mean, I, you can see in preseason so far, he's done a tremendous job. You know, he's a guy that um, does an outstanding job in one, against one-on-one -on -one and man-to-man -man coverage. He's got tremendous quickness, and he has that versatility, you know. So um, he's done a great job. He continues to work, at work. And the one thing I love about Dexter is he's a football player. You know, he loves it. And you lo watch him go block. You know, that's another thing in the run game. You watch him run downfield and block. It's amazing. So um, we're happy to have him on our team. Matt, I, you may have addressed this, but Green Bay, mm -hmm. um, you, know, you hear so much about their offense, but on defense, are you looking at what they do on defense, or are you still, it's more important just to focus on what the Chiefs do for this final game? We, always, we do a good job of preparing here and looking at what the, what the defense does. And again, uh, you never know in preseason sometimes because you don't really have that much to go on. And a lot of times defensive coordinators are trying different things in this, this time of year in preseason. So you have to go in there and sometimes react, and we'll, we'll be ready to go for whatever they, whatever they have out there.